All right, Echo Hills, we are wrapping up week four of our series, uh, 13 weeks of reading through the book of Acts. We're going to cover all 28 chapters. My encouragement to you is stick with it. Open up your word. Let it minister to you. Invite the Holy Spirit to illuminate the word. We're going to do something interesting uh, this Sunday. Um, I'm super excited about this Sunday. We've got some great announcements and some great things beginning to unfold around here. And so I'm excited to spend some time with you sharing about that. But when we do get into the word and we reflect on our reading this week, I'm going to point out what Luke is wanting us to understand about the shift that is taking place regarding the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And remember, we've talked about the gospel. The gospel means good news, but it's good news about what? And it's two things specifically. It's about the king and his kingdom. So when we talk about the good news of Jesus Christ, we're talking about him being our king and we're talking about his kingdom. And so as we were finishing up chapter seven and we were looking at Stephen and we look at his stoning, we get introduced uh, to Saul, who's going to become Paul as we wrap up and get into chapter nine. But in there, there's a few stories uh, that, again, I don't want to overlook but what I want to do this Sunday is point out something that Luke is identifying as part of this movement. And it comes down to a simple little word, and it's the word hand. If you go back this time right now before we catch up on Sunday and just circle the word hand or hands or a context that involve hands, you're actually going to see Luke doing something very specific, and he's giving us insight on a how the Holy Spirit is moving. And he's moving through the prayers and the hands that are being used. And one of the things that should stand out to us, and it might be a little challenging because of our con uh, cultural context, is that this move of the gospel has moved into a region of Samaria. We're gonna be introduced to an Ethiopian eunuch. And we see that Luke, the author of Acts, is putting an emphasis on the use of hands. And so I don't want us to miss that. It's all part of the journey that Luke is taking us on as he has recorded and documented the move of the Spirit. And so let's not just read the words, but let's ask the Holy Spirit to show us what it is that you want us to get out of the text, out of this time. From you, Lord Jesus, we ask for more. And so I'm excited. I'll see you Sunday. Come prepared. Bring your Bible. Bring your journal. I want to encourage you. If you're enjoying the little insights we're getting on Sunday, you can expound on that by getting into a connect group on Wednesday uh, right here on campus at 4 p.m. If you want some more resources on maybe how to read your Bible or how to do a deep dive on a word search or even a, a context and a, and a hermeneutic understanding, um, just ask and, and we'll make sure we get you uh, those resources. One that I want to give you today that I absolutely love and it's super simple is Blue Letter Bible. Uh, you can go online, you can download their app, Blue Letter Bible. It's got a ton of resources. If you need help navigating it or learning how to navigate it, ask, ask your neighbor, they might know, but it's a great starting place if you're wanting to go a little deeper with the word. So God bless you. Have an incredible Saturday. We'll see you Sunday, 10 a.m. Join us at nine if you wanna be part of our pre-service prayer.